Hey you guys, I tried to record this video yesterday But I just couldn't connect with it I was meant to talk about this and TikTok um, For the beautiful subscriber that oh, wanted me to talk about the racism on TikTok I could not relate to it Like, Obviously I can relate to racism But I couldn't not relate to the whole subject And it's I had to keep rehearsing and remembering what happened Because I never heard about all of that to be honest You know, I'm not on TikTok And... I'm not really on a lot of blog posts that post new stuff about that, so I never really followed it. So it just would have come across too rehearsed, and my YouTube is definitely not about that. I mean, I like knowing about subjects and knowing what I'm talking about. <laughs> and occasional look up just to make sure that, yeah, yeah, but to have to like follow a whole story to that, that's not, I can't relate to it, babe. So we can have a one on one about it, but. There's enough videos here because I researched it, like talking about the racism on TikTok. For me, I have no relation to that app, so I'm not. I can't sit here and lie like I know what I'm talking about. I can, yeah, but the whole story. I just colorism and on it, and I would have to go into and read into it. I don't really care about the app, to be honest. So it's like team too much for me, but. This video is about something that I kind of learned about mm, a few days, I would say like about a week ago now. And I was meaning to talk about it because I thought there's probably a lot of people that probably thought like me. <laughs> so I was like, why not just do a video about it? I wasn't going to do one today, but something was driving me to make a video today. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it, I'll do it. This is going to be a late upload. Um, but what I want to talk about is transracial. And the reason why I think it's important to talk about this is because I had to educate myself about it and it kind of changed my perspective on so much things that I would have thought before. So, obviously, we live in a society, especially here, if, um, if, if someone's black and they seem highly influenced by a white minority, they would be classified as coconut, so brown on the inside, white on the in. And for years, I never really, I was just, I never, I just brushed it off, you know, like, okay, it's coconut, she's coconut, he's coconut. But I never really ever knew that there was a term, and that is transracial. So transracial and I've got it here, so I'm going to read the definition and then I'm going to go into my own, you know, okay, I'm come with some facts, okay? Because I keep forgetting the name. I was like, transphobia, is it? I keep calling it something else. Like, I still need to adjust myself to the fact that it's actually something, because... Mm. So, transracial. Transracial identity, having racial identity or racial expression that differs from one's race assigned at birth. Racial transformation, the process by which a region changes in racial composition. Transitional, uh, transracial adoption, placing a child of one racial or ethnic group with adoptive parents of another racial and ethnic group. And there's just like a whole load of other terms but the main one is transracial identity having a racial identity or racial expression that differs from one's race assigned at birth and it makes you think differently about calling people coconut because it's actually something they don't identify with their birthright they don't like what they feel what they see on the outside is not how they feel on the in and then I was looking into this, I was watching some videos and I was like, oh my God, this actually is a real thing. And I do have to apologize to the people if I've ever, um, if anyone's ever watched this and felt like I've been offensive to you. And even people that don't even know I have a YouTube channel, I apologize to you all because I've definitely, definitely, definitely hands held high have to admit that I've been very ignorant to stuff like this. And in, when you look at it in a broader aspect of things, this, it justifies a lot of things. And I'm gonna start with a prime example that most people know, Rochelle. What's her surname? 
that woman that identifies as black, but she's white and she lied about her whole dozen, dozen. Rich Rochelle. Dol. Yeah, Dolzo. Yeah, that's her. That's her. That's her, Rochelle Dozo. Mm-hmm. When she first came out, like, she looks like a whole black woman, you know? And it's crazy. And, like, she lied about her parents. You know, she was really big on the news. Do you not remember? You definitely remember. And people were, like, really offended by her. But um, I have to admit, though, when she first came out, I and I first the story first blew up about her and her, like not being black at all and she was white white parents everything can lie about her parents lying about her heritage lying about where she come from and it all blow, blew up i didn't understand why people was offended by that actually it's like because then people think see it as like you profit in black off black media of, of being black but when you when the time comes you're not ready to be black but she's a whole black activist so that that saying actually didn't work for her I actually took it as a compliment. Like, it's amazing that someone would disregard their whole race to be a race that they feel more connected with. To be this is actually the highest compliment you could you could ever want. To be frankly honest with you, I understand why you was offended. I find it actually quite a compliment. So there's a lot of people like this, you know. And there's a lot of people that probably don't even know that they have this. And then when they try to express themselves, they come across as racist or not loving their own race or the colour they're, they're in and all this stuff when they don't identify with that race at all. And it's okay. There's... It's like someone telling me that, oh, being gay is wrong or doing this is wrong and this is... Da -da -da. Like... You can't, you can never have, you can't tell someone how to feel, you know. You don't have the power to do that. You cannot explain people's feelings to them. I mean, if you're a therapist and you're going through something and you're identifying something, it makes sense. But you can't tell someone how they feel is wrong or how they, sometimes you just have to take people for what they are. And just let sleeping dogs lie. I do not argue with people that choose to be foolish. I'm not going to go back and forth with people who choose to be racist, with people who choose to be colorist. I'm not going to go back and forth. I will state my opinion, but people like that in my personal life, we will never be having an interaction or back and forth. I don't do stuff like that. If you want to remain in your ignorance, then you can stay in it. Me, I like a peaceful life for myself. I'll say what I need to say and then that's it. I don't need to hear no reply. I don't need to. I don't do the back and forth thing. And I think that nowadays people, are, people thrive off that. They love it. They love that. And me, I don't. So when I first saw this transracial on someone's bio that follows me on instagram i went to his instagram and i saw it on the bio and it goes transracial and i was like hey he's a whole african man i was like what the hell is that so i, I didn't even bother asking him i just went straight and i started looking for it and i was like oh my god and i just kept finding things more things more things more things and it makes you think this is the thing that this is a bit where i'm a bit confused is when someone says I can understand you not feeling like you not identifying with the race that you are. I can, I can, my mind with the research I've done, I can, I can understand that. What I can't understand though is when people openly say they don't date their own race and they almost are disgusted. Like, no, I would never date a black man or I would never date a, a white man or I would never, when it's their own race, I don't understand, I can't understand that aspect of it. But I'm sure that mm, on the flip side of things, it would kind of make sense because if that's not their preference and they don't identify with that, then why would they want to be attracted to that? Mm. Yeah, I kind of answered my own question, to be honest. But I just thought, like, 
ain't this interesting that this is a thing? Like, I didn't know. Oh, that sounds so bad. I mean, not a thing, but, you know, like, ain't this interesting that it's actually something that is, is serious, you know? Because do you imagine how much people... That's probably, like, when you... It probably justifies a lot of people that bleach. Mm, all right. That's a bit of a stretch. I don't think it justifies that. But I think it, there's a minority of people that bleach that feel this. And it's not meaning light skin is the right skin or they feel like the light skin is superior. It's because they're trying to identify with what they feel inside. So when you see like those men, they proper relax their hair and they bleach like to the core and they have contact lenses. It makes sense. Like when I see people like that, I feel like, instantly you're trying to portray like light skin is a bright is a, is better like you know light skin is a right skin so what are you trying to say about this but it's nothing to do with me it's the fact that they, do, they don't identify with that that don't identify with their blackness they don't do not and then there are that majority that do think light skin is a right skin because that's how this community treats them as much the thing about us as black people, it's very easy to join the argument of racism and pulling out people for this and pulling out people for this, but we are so prejudiced amongst our own, it's unreal. Like I don't when I when people are joining all these arguments about this person being colorist and this person being racist and this is disgusting, we should boycott TikTok, we should do this, we should do this. And I'm like it's so funny that we only want to reunite where you, you we only want to unite when there's a kerfuffle, when there's a problem. Never to celebrate each other. Because after that happens, okay, we achieve that, then what happens? There's gonna be someone that is gonna bash you because you're too dark, bash you because your hair's because they wanna classify your hair as being nappy, which I do not believe in. I love my hair. No one's ever gonna tell me I have nappy hair. I d I don't even know where that derived from. Or because um, you're or you're maybe because you're black and you're you're ashy. This or so much stupid derogatory terms that we use on our own. To be frankly honest with you, so when I'm seeing these videos that I have to purposely do, um, when people are requesting certain things for me to do of other races doing this, I'm like. I can do that. I can address it. But to be honest, other races telling me anything doesn't faze me, to be honest. I get more bothered by... A, 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 I'm more bothered in my community when uh, when someone tells me that they won't date me because um, I'm too dark, which I've been told. Um, they like light skin. They only do light skin. They only date white men. They only like this. I'm too tall. I'm too this. I've told I had a story time where I told you that I told someone that I was African, and they were like, "Ew, Ugh, like," and they were black themselves. They were Caribbean, like they didn't derive from Africa as well. So like, I would not. I would not be that angry. It coming from someone that is not my race. This is the thing. I actually, I don't get that bothered by that shit. I've, I'm only triggered when it's my race acting like that. Only when I used to be on dating sites, I used to get that. When anytime I would go out of a man, they tell me they're not ready for a relationship. And then the next minute we stop talking, who did they end up with? Someone that's either white or light skinned. And it's like, oh. And then after that, you see the continual pattern. The next person, mixed race or light skin or white. The next person, mixed race, light skin, but they will still come to me and tell me how I'm sexy, how they still want to fuck me. So it's always made me feel like I'm good enough to fuck. I'm dark enough to fuck, but I'm not dark enough to be taken seriously. Like, that's how my community makes me feel as a whole black man. It's not about other races and other this and... I don't get, I'm not bothered by that stuff. It's like, it's so funny, I'm actually not. I'm not. So Someone can call me the N-word in the street. Let me tell you something, yeah? I don't use that word. No one around me uses it. It's it's just, it's forbidden to us. Like, it's it's not even foreign to me. I cannot relate to it. I, I, I don't have, it has no power for me. So if you want to call, you can call yourself that, if even though you're not it. I don't care. I don't care. I do you're not. I, I wouldn't. I don't pay attention to stuff. People. I feel like people put too much attention on the wrong things. 
and put so much anger and hate and project it outwards and make everything around them seem even worse than it is than actually trying to build us as people and build people within your community like you see someone successful and they'll bring that person down like no one's business and it's like i don't understand because if now a white person was doing that you would want to call out that person for being racist or for being colorful or discriminating but you do it to your own on a daily basis and you don't even acknowledge it so please i can't even do it. so when i hear when i found out this term back relating to my point when I found out about this, it just made so much sense to me because I always would have that argument of thinking that people just didn't like being who they are and it made me feel an element of like, if you don't like being, what are you trying to say, you're ashamed of me? I, it would always feel like it's reflecting back on me, like the lack of of passion and love you have for yourself as a black person how the hell can we relate because then how do you view me <laughs> if you're bleaching <laughs> how the hell can we be friends because if you're bleaching your, your yourself to pale to pale right <laughs> from this to this this is now your color right how can i feel like you appreciate me as a person but this transracial kind of makes me feel like that could be a, a reason. And then when you find a lot of people that are like, oh, this person's white, they're trying to be black, they're trying to be black. This and like, especially with how I've grown up, a lot of, I've got my uncles, Nigerian men, definitely, definitely, my Caribbean side, oh my God, all my cousins that I know, apart from like, Maybe one that I met, I like mixed race. So, go figure, all right? And then my uncles definitely have married white women. And the white women that I call aunties are very cultured. Like, they're very cultured. And I know on another person, they'll probably say, that look, you're, she's trying to be black or racial appropriation because she's got braids and stuff. But it's hard for people who grow up in an environment with predominantly black people not to incorporate being at one with us. I just think sometimes people don't think logically, you know? I know some people definitely profit and we've got black fishing, which I would definitely, if you want to hear more about my opinion on that, we can put that in the comments. That is definitely nothing to do with this. That's a disgrace. Like the whole makeup darker nonsense. I don't understand that for views on YouTube. That's the disgrace. Like I'm not, I'm, that's terrible. Let's just go something else. But when people naturally are incorporating our culture, I don't see that as racial appropriation because I've grown up with people doing it and it's not it's not a thing of oh when it's time to be black oh they don't they run it they're very much just like us so I've never seen them as any different I would I, I'm not color blind I know my aunties are white <laughs> let's let's not <laughs> But they don't, I don't feel like they try to be black. Like, how, how would you act if you've been with a man for 20 odd years, an African man, and you've grown up, like you you have kids and you're, you're very, you know, it's it's hard. So you're telling me my auntie now, when she has her extensions and stuff, they don't, I don't even have aunties I have with. But they don't, they don't. They don't forget about their whiteness, but they do incorporate the fact that like they're, they're black men and it's fine because I understand it. I just, racial appropriation, I think it's a, it's a tricky thing because you've got it where it can necessarily, it can just be a part of culture and people can just call it out all the time. Like, oh, look at this one with braids. Look at this one here. Look at this one because she's fucking a black man. Look at this one because he's with a blah, blah. And then you do have it when people try and profit from it. So you do have designers that suddenly take the piss and act like it's a, it's a fashion trend when it's not, you know, that's our lives, that's our culture, that's our heritage, that's our story, I understand it completely, 
But then I do think sometimes, I think there's just too much emphasis and it's making... <sighs> I would understand it if we was a united race, you know? And you want to call out something, we're all together. In the good, in the bad, we're all together. But I don't like it when there's just always shots and everything being thrown here, left and, and centre. And then those same people can't even unite to uplift. There's so much broken souls in this community. So much broken black, black men. So much broken black women. Hurt people will continue to hurt people. Look at our race and our culture as a whole. We are so disorientated, honestly. No one's united. People are, are ashamed to be African. People are ashamed to be from here. People are so engulfed in this culture of being racially ambiguous bbls like people already have us going to get more us because it's it's like the poster stamp for beauty now and and fillers and botox and all of this stuff skin skin lightning like you can actually proper go and surgically get skin lightening like it's a thing. You don't have to use curry powder, um, curry powder and toothpaste and go in, in East London and go behind the counter and find all the lightning soaps. There's proper formulas that inject it, like people inject tannin and all this stuff. I just don't understand it all. I just, just don't understand why people want to be so far removed from being black some people will shout about it and then still feed into that culture and then people this is it's just it's there's too much hip, hypocrisy oh I've got a word right i said it in my head but i didn't know how to project it <laughs> um within this whole community and it's I feel like we need to get at level with loving ourselves and projecting love, especially at a time like this. This is no better time than this pandemic to project love than to always be the first to be throwing stones and continuously throwing stones with, without acknowledging where you go wrong as a person yourself. Because there's a lot of us that are made to feel insignificant, but still we're fighting everybody else's fight. It's horrible. You still, in 2020, you have find people saying, oh, she's so good looking for a black person. He's so good looking for a black person. I just think just society as a whole is just in desiree. But saying that, it's just made me really understand um, people that are transracial a bit more without being so ignorant and being the first to call someone out because they're trying to be this or they're trying to be that because some people can just be transracial <laughs> and some people might not even acknowledge it and then with how things are today how would someone explain that no one wants to listen no one's even educated on stuff like this to even be open to being like you know what it's a thing and just because they say it, it doesn't mean that you should look down at someone and say they've got a mental illness it's okay to not identify of who your birthright is. My God, Jesus Christ, fine. Knock yourself out. Be who you want to be. Live and let live. Live and let live. I just had to say that. I don't know if this video is going to make sense. I don't even know what I'm going to title it because I went into so many things. Might lose some subscribers. You guys might not like what I've said, but... I don't even know. I feel like I need to do more videos that really promote the love of being black. Because I can find a lot of stuff where people are talking about everything but love. Racism here and this and that. And me too. But there's not many videos celebrating us. And if you want to see that, you have to dig in and I feel like I need to do that. Because my sister could see these videos one day, you know. My 
brother. I want them to know that they're beautiful just the way they are and they don't have to feed into what society's idolized standards of beauty are. They don't have to feel the need to get this or to get that. Because if you felt whole as a person and you really fell in love with yourself, you wouldn't feel the need to get anything, anything, nothing, nothing. You would acknowledge things like it's normal too, but you wouldn't feel the need to get anything. And that's what I did because when I wanted all the surgery I wanted, it was only because I did not feel attractive I did, and and honestly, like, I feel like everyone around me that was light skin was hot, and I felt like I wanted to be hot, but I did not know how to be hot in my blackness. I needed to do this and do that and get all these extra things to distract anyone from seeing the real beauty that was with me, and that's how I was born. <laughs> My God, imagine if I would have got a nose. Why don't you get surgery? My God, I'm not against it, actually. The way I'm sounding, I'm not against it. But I feel like you need to get it for the right reasons. And if you're going to get something to be fixed, make sure there's actually something wrong. Sometimes we delude ourselves into thinking things are wrong when there's nothing wrong. And then you go and do it and you look even worse. Like, is it really necessary for me to get this? Is it really necessary for me to do that? Is it, do I really need that? Do I really, really need to do that? Do I really need to get this? Do I really need to get that? You'll be chasing, chasing, chasing. And once you get one, so do you another one, another one, another one, and then boof. You just never know when to stop. It's so easy to be addicted to things, you know. So easy. Oh my God. But anyway, I'm I'm off the subject again. I guess this is a general talk. Are we gonna talk about transracial, colorism, racism, lack of love? That's the name of the video. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. And please, 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 I hope you're not too offended by this video. Please state any things that you want. I will answer anything. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with this video, but a whole lot come out that I didn't even know I was feeling. Bloody hell. But yeah, have a lovely evening and see you guys tomorrow.